<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pick 6 with John and Nick. I'm John. I am Nick. This is week 13. We're <gasps> dressed in black. We are dressed for, for, for terrible Nick's. conditions. For Nick's poor, poor performance last Ooh. week of 1 and 2. As I went 3 and 0. Oh. Weather is not the only thing that's cold around here. It is chilly in LA. I think it got up to 60 today. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be getting uh, pho after the show. Yes. <laughs> Maybe some chicken noodle soup I'll be making. <laughs> uh, I had a rough patch last week, but I'm feeling mm. good this week, John. You did call that Iowa game, though. Yeah, so I mean, congrats. my good calls are... My, my, it's, uh, I've had very high ceiling, low floor past couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Ceiling, mm-hmm. pretty high. Vaulted ceiling. Floor, basement level. No. Pretty low. <laughs> All right, John. We are starting... Uh, I'm going hot and heavy to start the game... I'm going with. That's right. Oh. The L word. <gasps> the lock of the week. The lock of the week. John, there's a saying that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Friend to me? I have a new saying for you. The enemy of my enemy is my enemy. Oh. That's right. We're talking about the New England Patriots versus the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Two hateable franchises Hate as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure this is going to have ratings out the roof. All the wannabe fans, half the Dallas fans has probably never been to Texas. Half the oh, Patriots yeah. fans have probably never been to New England. So who do you root for in a game like this? This is like Darth Vader versus Thanos. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, it's two, yeah, two evil, evil dudes. I was thinking like Alien. Or, I don't know where it was going. <laughs> All right, uh, so the total's gone over in 10 of the Cowboys' last 13 games. Good. That's a fun stat, and that helps prove my point. And that's why the lock a week this week, ladies yes. and gentlemen, Dallas Cowboys at New England Patriots, over 45. Count it. I think half of the Dallas Cowboys fans are here in Southern California, just because that's where they host their training camp, which is kind of strange. Yeah, Oxnard is terrible, too. Weird. So Nick is doing the lock of the week, and that gives me the... Well, our oh, word, oh, risky, risky pick, pick of the week. week. Get Let's it, hear it. Get it. All right, so Nick last week um, picked the Iowa, whomever Iowa. Oh, that was the hangover game. Nah, Minnesota hangover game. Yep. And Minnesota. So Minnesota's looking to bounce back this week. Uh, they're playing the good old Northwestern Wildcats. That's not right, mm-hmm. is it? Mm-hmm. God, I'm on point today. Yep. On point, Northwestern Wildcats. So the Golden Gophers. Uh, they're gonna. I don't care what the point is, what the score is. Here's the thing: the Northwestern Wildcats have the one of the top ten ranked defenses in the NCAA, and Minnesota's ranked 14th. So the over/under is 39 and a half. Man, I was trying so hard. I was trying so hard to go under, but that's not what I do. No, I don't go under. We're not an under show. Whoa, no, we are over. Give me some points, points, points. I ain't got no stats for you. All I care about is that Minnesota is coming off a hard luck loss, and they're going to score a lot of points against Northwestern to try and get back in the hunt for the college football playoffs. So give me the Minnesota Golden Gophers against the Northwestern Wildcats over 39 and a half. Count Count it. it. All right, moving on. My next pick, I'm going to underdogs. We're going to college football. This is the calm before the storm week in college football. Mm -hmm. It's also look ahead week. Yeah. We're talking this week about Penn State, Ohio State. Penn State is an 18 and a half point underdog at Ohio State. I get it. Ohio State is really good. Really good. You know what they're not good at? Uh, Playing teams before they played Michigan. That's right, John. Ohio State is 0-6 against the spread the last six years before playing Michigan. That's a classic, classic look-ahead game. Penn State 8-1 the last nine against the spread in road games. So they like to play on the road. Uh, This is their proverbial Super Bowl, Mm. which they don't play in college. They don't play on this. Penn State's going to be up for this game. Uh, They they still have a pretty good team, and I know Ohio State's really good. But this is the look-ahead game of the week. If we had that graphic, which we don't because we're a low-budget show, uh, give me Penn State plus 18.5 at Ohio State. Count it. So here's where I'm going. San Francisco. Two weeks ago, they lost to Seattle. Last week, they got lucky in 1x10, which killed all of Vegas. Uh, there were so many bets that got brutalized. Broke Inclu- up a lot of parlays. Broke up a lot of parlays, including mine. Thank you very little. Uh, but they almost lost that game, if you really think about it. 
Green Bay has had a bye. They've been able to watch San Francisco the last two games without even having to play and then watch them. So it was Monday night and then on Sunday. Um, I don't think San Francisco is a team to beat in the NFC. I just really, I think they're overrated. Garoppolo is going to be garoppin' for straws. Whoa! Oh, oh, I came up it with that. kind of works. I kind of came up with myself. That's fine. Uh, Green Bay is 7-3 and three in the last 10. They're 5-1 and one in the last 6 against the NFC. San Francisco is 2-5 and five against the spread in their last 7 against the NFC North. Listen. It's all Green Bay. It's only three points. I think they're going to win this game outright. So give me the Green Bay Packers plus three at San Francisco. Count it. You better hope all those Green Bay players don't find a nightclub like they did when they were out in L.A. Oh, I, I'd have a guy just set up at the airport to like take them wherever they want. Just like shout out Fisherman's <laughs> Wharf. <laughs> Could be a oh, man. Day. This is that's Santa Clara, though. So it's, it's uh, I don't know. There's nothing good San Jose. Uh, the, Santa Cruz, not too far either. Anybody? Anybody want to go yeah. to uh, <laughs> the, what is that, <laughs> uh, Silicon Valley? Uh, <laughs> let's go to Google. Yeah. Man, we're going to have oh, a man. rocking good time. That's Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. All right, we're going, my last pick this week, we're going to Monday Night Football. So this game's in L.A. We have the Baltimore Ravens are in town playing the Rams. You can get a ticket to the Coliseum for $25, but I'm not going. You know why? Because the, the Coliseum, Coliseum sucks. sucks. I'm not going to that crap game, but I can watch on TV. It's going to be pretty good, mm-hmm, I think. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I am going to be turning it around the rest of this show for this season, just like the Baltimore defense. Past three games, they have been one of the best defenses in the NFL, especially on third down against yeah. the past. Not the best against the run, but overall great defense. For a team that scores that many points, very good. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore's on a six-game winning streak. They're eight, one, and one. The last ten road games, straight up, three points is not so a lot. Good. They're looking so, <laughs> so good. good. The Rams are banged up. They Man, can't they get can. it together. Uh, Lamar Jackson is MVP, MVP right now, so Ooh. I think this would be. It should be a good game. It'll be quasi close, but the Ravens will win this. I'd say Ravens by six. So okay. maybe you want to hit the alternate spread, make a little extra cash for the holidays. Uh, <laughs> for my favorite, give me the Baltimore <laughs> Ravens. Minus three against the Rams. Count, Count it. it. Okay. Ooh, ooh. What did I say last week? What are, what, 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 the, what are the Atlanta Falcons going to do? Oh, oh, they're going to go undefeated. Who are they playing this week? <laughs> Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry, it's against your team. But right, we're tanking it, for uh, anyone. Hopefully anybody. If you're listening. <laughs> we need you. I don't care who you are. Please tank. Yes. Anyway, so this is the first time that the Atlanta Falcons are favored in quite a few games it's not a large spread for me but the alcohol uh, the the atlanta falcons are riding the hot hand of my boy matty ice tampa bay is 0-6 against the spread in their last well six uh and atlanta is 5-0 and 3-2 uh over 5-0 and overall and 3-2 and against the spread against tampa bay this would also be a good over-under maybe to look at, as I'm sure they're going to be throwing the ball. Uh, but Atlanta, I'm saying it. I'm still saying it until they do it. They're going undefeated until the end of the season. So you did say you, it last week. And I did say it again today. Oh, oh yeah. Doubling down. Oh, so give me the Atlanta Falcons minus four and a half against Tampa. Count it. We, oh, wow. We're going to be hot this week. Woo, week Can you believe 13. we talked about the Minnesota Golden Gophers and PJ Flex team two weeks in a row? We did not once say row the boat. Oh. You know what I'm going to do this week, John? Row, row the, the boat. boat baby. Row Bring the it. Boat. Bring it. Row the boat. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at handlebar underscore TV and subscribe to YouTube so you catch the rest of the season as well as the much heralded Super Bowl spectacular yes. backed by popular demand from last season. For Pick 6 with John and Nick, week 13. I'm John. I'm Nick. See you next week. Peace.